Ladies and gentlemen, KJ here, and I'm back with another episode of Madden 25. Well, we are back with another week of action here as the Bears are going one on one against the New Orleans Saints. We are at home in Soldier Field looking to continue the momentum that we have gained from our back to back wins on the road. You know, we beat we beat the Steelers first and then we Blanked our division rivals, the Detroit Lions, 20 to nothing. It was a huge victory for us as it looks like our offense, our defense, our team in general is back on track. The offense has been clicking for the most part. The defense, no complaints there. You know, I was worried about them coming into the season, but they have turned out phenomenal. The offense has started to get back on track. Kaepernick. And myself have not been throwing so many picks, which is always a good key to victory. And two passes for touchdowns to Brandon Marshall last game helped net us the victory. We're going to go ahead and get this game started here. Both the Saints and the Bears are 3-1, and one, looking to make some impacts here. You can see the standings too. We are right now tied with the Vikings at the top of the division. Uh, it looked like the Packers had a bye week last week, and the Vikings suffered their first loss. So we need to pick up a win here. You know, we we are we are one and one right now at home. We got lucky at our first game, but we have grown since then. These last two games, we've really gotten back on track, and I am confident that we can continue that tonight. So here we are, Chicago, Illinois, Soldier Field, as the Bears are taking on the New Orleans Saints. We are looking for our second victory here at home and to improve our record to 4-1. and one. You know, the, we've been actually playing pretty good, pretty good. Can't really complain about much things. So here's the coin toss. Saints will choose heads or tails, and they have lost. Bears will get to choose. We're going to go ahead and receive this thing. Um, may not be the best decision, um, but, you know, we've kind of been equal whether we're winning it or losing it. So, I mean, it kind of really doesn't matter. Oh, it must be one of the first games in October. As you can see, the entire stadium is filled with pink. <laughs> Um, so that's pretty cool that the game actually does the breast cancer awareness thing too, just like the real people do. Oh, they've even got purple gloves on. Oh, look at that. Tressman's wearing a pink Bears shirt. That is awesome. I I did not know that the game did that. I, I did not know that the game did that kind of thing for the October games. But I gotta say that that is pretty damn cool that they do. So see, you learn something new every time you play the game. Oh, that is bad. That is bad. I wanted to get the run going early, but instead... They come in at me, and I have nowhere to go. Which brings up a second and 14 now. We're going to have to go gunslinger early here today. So let's see what we can do. Alright, let's go. Brandon Marshall gets the catch and then gets taken down almost instantly. Looked like he got dragged down by his head there. Let's look at this again. Eh, I guess not. It was... No, it just, just looked like it was, but as the guy was running past him, but he picks up just 14 yards, and that will give us a first down. All right. Um, we're, we're going to go back to, we're going to go back to the run and try and get something going this time. There is Kaepernick's stats so far. A lot of passing, but a lot of interceptions. Those are mainly off the first two games. We only had one interception in the last two games. So I'm very pleased at the way that we have been playing. 
in that regard. Oh no, why must you do that? Oh. This happens every game. Every game, my, my Xbox is like, yeah, it's, it's critical play. Yeah, I'm gonna just screw you up. I, I really don't know why it does that. So it's second and eight because the game decided to lag up and I couldn't see where I was going. Let's try for another run. Right now the Saints are stopping us on the run, which is not a good thing. We need to get, get something going here. There we go. There we go. There's a first down. Probably didn't have to run reckless like I did. But I thought I was going to get a hit there. So, like, right here when I was turning the corner away from my guy, I thought I was going to get hit. Didn't. But I pick up the first down anyway, so it's all good. It's all good. Um, that's the first successful run we've had. The last two before that were not so much. Let's see if we can try and keep it going. I really like to try and establish the run because I like to throw picks too. And so by establishing the run early, it helps a little bit on the pass. And fumbles are a lot less common than picks for me, so. Brandon Marshall once again gets the catch. He's, he's kind of my default receiver, I'm going to admit. You know, he was my first pick in the draft. You know, he was the top guy. He's my default receiver. I, I, you know, Nix is good. I love Olsen. I love Jeffrey. But Brandon Marshall, I try and hit him on a constant basis. He's the one I look to first, and then I look at everyone else. It's, it's, it's just the way things go. As the Bears right now are going, it is first and ten on the 18-yard line. We are marching down the field here. Nice little drive we've got going. Gets forward a little bit there. Gain of six. To bring up second and four. Five rushes, 20 yards so far in the day for Jackson. So pretty decent numbers. I'm, I've been actually getting pretty decent numbers with him recently, so... Not too upset about that. Let's see, longest is 12. That was, that was the one I talked about before. And I like it when we can get the running game going. Oh, cuts it back and gets the first down. Oh, come on, he's still moving! He blew the whistle, but he was still moving. He was still, like, going forward. Don't blow the whistle. Look at this, he was still going forward. They blow him dead even though he was still on his feet and going forward. Oh, that, that sucks, refs. Thank, thanks for that. What the heck was that for, man? Ugh. Alright. Uh, let's try a toss play. See if we can get outside and get in for the touchdown here. First and goal on the six. We've almost had the ball the entire first quarter. Gives it to Greg Olson right over the middle. Great job by Kaepernick. I was kind of thinking, you know, a curl route would probably work really, really well right now in this position. But I also like the idea that Olson set up in the middle. I've done that many times before. They kind of just parks there, gets it. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to do that. They kind of played off him. We're a little bit late. As soon as he got the ball, it was just a step over for the touchdown. And so the extra point attempt is good, and the Bears get on the board with a touchdown here. Like I've said, after those first two games, we have been clicking on all cylinders, it seems like, on the offense. Y yes, that even includes Colin Kaepernick and myself, you know, playing as, as the quarterback. We've, we've somehow turned it around. Pretty decent kick there. They will bring it out, though. Up to the 23-yard line is where the Saints will take over. Their quarterback is Eli Manning, who's thrown for six touchdowns and two interceptions so far this year. 
But yeah, the Bears strike first. We're on the board seven to nothing. That's great. We're at home. We got the crowd behind us. And now the defense takes the field. This defense has been very good so far this year. As we stand them up pretty much at the line there, it will be second and eight for the Saints. Well, that will probably bring us to the end of the quarter, and it does. So after one, the Bears are on the board seven to nothing. We pretty much ran that entire first quarter out with our opening drive. But that's fine, you know, slow, methodical, and we get seven points out of it. I'll take that every single time, you know. Had a good balance of passing and rushing on the thing. A little bit rush heavy, but that is not a bad thing, especially for the Bears. We are known for our rushing abilities. And I love to get that going before I can hit a pass up and get some big plays that way. I was kind of debating, should I go for a pass? Should I try and go for... A big play right off the bat. It's just like, nah. Nah, just gonna go with the run. Gain three yards on it only. Which, it's okay. It's okay. Gives it to Jackson. The running back who split out. And he gets a first down for the Bears. You know, I have been noticing the past couple games, I've actually thrown to him a couple times, and he's actually been very good as receiving. Like, he's received the ball phenomenally well. I, I'm very surprised at how well he's done as a receiver. You know, I, I didn't I didn't know if he is the receiving back or not, or if he's just kind of power forward, if he can go out. I really didn't know what kind of back I was getting with him. But I'm very happy with the way that he's been performing. Oh, there we go. Not, not gonna, not gonna blame him for that. They got through. wasn't Didn't have that good of a push there. They just plowed right through us. I'm surprised he didn't get dropped for even less yardage. Okay. Right. I'm right. Oh, wow! I thought that was going to get picked off by 35. But instead it gets in there to who else? Brandon Marshall. You know, Brandon Marshall, I've been hitting up these past couple games. Like I said earlier, exclusively. And it has been paying dividends for me. As he is just... He's a beast! There is no other words for it. A beast. We've reached a two-minute warning here. Bears still on the drive. We've been doing that for quite some time now, it seems like. Which I am not complaining about. Floats one over to Alshon Jeffery. And he will get very close to the first down. It is second and in inches. So, won't get this time, but we're going we're gonna to try and power it through here. We'll Everyone should know by now what I love to do on these second and ones, third and ones. The short yards, the ones, the inches. We do a fullback dive. We do a fullback dive and John Coon. Coon. Gets the first down. Almost broke it through to the touchdown there. Gets to the three yard line. We'll give it to Coon, see if Coon can power it in here. Come on, Coon, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now, Coon. Coon in for the touchdown. That is his first touchdown of the year. Jonathan Coon. First time he's gotten a touchdown. And it is a big one as it puts the Bears up. 14 to nothing pending the extra point attempt. I really liked his touchdown dance afterwards. Kind of reminds me of Genesis a little bit. The I Can't Dance music video. Their little their little walk that they do. At least that's what I think when I see it. I, I'm sure there's something else too, but that's the first thing that comes into my head. So it is 14 and nothing with 49 seconds left in the first half. Big kick there. 
and they will kneel down, take it at the 20-yard line. The Saints have not had the ball very much here in the first half. They went three and out on their first drive, and now they are looking to drive 80 yards in 49 seconds to get a touchdown. I bet they're probably thinking more to just get into field goal range at this point and get something on the board. Because right now the defense is dominant right now as they have been the past two games. See if we can catch them. Got a man coming in. Misses though and a wide open man for the Saints out there. Does He, he does not get out of bounds though. He will knock it out of bounds, so the clock's still running. Hurry up, offense, and Manning goes down. Eli Manning gets sacked. And that will cause a timeout by the Saints to be taken. Their last one, second and 17 at the 50. That sack puts them out of field goal range. There's no doubt that they are going to want to just try to get back within field goal range here then hurry up and spike the ball to try and get some points before halftime oh and he gets sacked again he gets sacked again third and 25 the guys have to try and run back it's, it's a Hail Mary here there's no time for anything else just catches it gets taken down and the half will end so back-to-back -back sacks, the defense of the Bears come up big at the end of the second quarter there. And we go into halftime still leading 14 to nothing. Chicago on top of the Saints. They will get the ball, though, to start the second half. But right now, the defense is playing outstanding, and I, I am more than happy to have them up against the Saints offense right now. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. My guy could have had him. My guy could have had him, but I missed. I, I think my person like peeled away and then I just kind of kept speeding off. So, ugh. Oh, you'll see. I miss him. But it's okay because the defense swarms in on the running back and stops him pretty much instantly. Second and seven now. So the Saints coming out swinging right now as they figured stuff out at halftime. And they have a drive going big time. Get through and get to Eli Manning with a sack. Jefferson, that is his second sack on the day. And a huge one as it stops this little drive they've been having dead beautiful beautiful sack there I love that I love it second and 18 for the Saints at the 35 yard line of the Bears Ooh, stop him stopped him we got him there guys we got him fourth and third as we put up a big stand there, start sending some pressure, some complex blitzes. It was all over the place. I'm doing some crazy hand motions that you can't even see. But that brings up the field goal unit for the Saints. Who are trying to get their first points of the game. And the kick is up. And it will be good. So the score now is 14-3. to Bears on top. And so we will get our first possession of the second half here now. Probably try and run out the entire third quarter here with it. And really don't get too far with that return up to the 23-yard line. And that will be all. Oh, gets it just away to Knicks. Beautiful job there. They were coming in at me, I think, at least. At least it felt like they were. It felt very dangerous there in the pocket. And Kaepernick delivers that beautiful one to Knicks. That was that was incredible throw and catch. First reception on the day, and that'll bring up a second and two. 
go with a toss run here, and it gets sniffed out instantly. That'll bring up a third and 13. And this is a not a good position for us right now. Um, don't know what I want to do. And he breaks through the first defender to gain four on that one. Kiwanuka finally brought him down. And a stupid penalty there and the kick by Conti has given the Saints a little bit of life here as they are they're in good position right now to get a touchdown at probably a field goal at least. They're in Bears territory at their 48. As we end the third quarter, Bears still have the lead. 14 to 3. As you can see from that shot of Manning there, he's got quite a bit of green grass on that jersey. So we've gone to him three times today so far. I'd like to see a couple more times too. Green Ellis has also started to kind of come alive here in the second half. Whatever was broken, they seem to have fixed that at halftime. Good catch there by Vant. And that is a first down for the Saints. So once again, Saints... Well, I, I'm going to quote the song. The Saints are marching on. The Bears right now. This is first and ten at the 34-yard line. Need to try and find a way to, to stop this drive. See if we can maybe... Uh, and he caught it too, man. That was sucked. <laughs> caught it for a first down, got out of bounds. First and ten at the 22 now. Over the middle once again, hits up Edwards. That's his first reception. Gained six yards on it. Tries to get it to the outside, but that time, our defense was the one who saw that coming, sniffed it out, and took him out. Loss of one on the play, third and five. All right, guys, let's let's get hyped up. Let's 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 do this thing. Stop him on third down here. They're 0 for 3 so far in third downs. We bring in a little bit of a safety blitz again. Throws it long and gets the touchdown. Touchdown Saints as they have limited this thing down. They're actually going for two here. Just very... No, I guess that way they can get a field goal and tie it on the next possession. And it is incomplete. The two-point conversion does not work. So the score is 14 to 9 right now. I actually don't know if they're going to try an onside kick or not. I would think not. There's still quite a bit of time. Uh, no, it doesn't look like they are. No. Okay. <laughs> no, that was, that was a little scary for me. I did not know if they were or weren't. Gets up to the 25-yard line, and the Bears will start from there. 3.51 left in the fourth quarter. And the Saints have made this a little bit more interesting here. We need to try and get some points on the board. See if we can hit something up with this. Oh, Nick's left open. And he's gone. Nix was left open. And that is a touchdown for the Bears. Oh, that was a beautiful one, too. That was a beautiful one. I, I, I was trying to see what was happening. All of a sudden, I saw him break through the defense. Saw him going with his slant. And I just went with it. The defender missed on his attempted tackle. And that was it. That was it. As soon as he missed, he was gone. So that was a 
it was a very short drive there. What was that? One run and then a big time pass. It's Kaepernick now two touchdowns on the day. No interceptions again. Which is which that's that's the key, you know. First two games were very close, very sloppy. Went one and one and and I threw for seven interceptions, right? The last three games, one interception. How many is this now? Like five or six touchdown passes. And and what what's the result? I'm three and zero possibly. Pen, pending this game, pending the results of this game, I'll be three and zero. So you can see, you know, it, it, it's kind of like the real Bears. When we don't throw interceptions or any turnovers, we do good. It is like that with any with any team. If you don't throw an interception or turn the ball over at all, you'll be good. And really bring nothing. And throws it short to his receiver who catches it. It's fourth and five. I'm thinking they're going to have to go for it here. Yeah, there's, there's no other choice. They're going to have to go for it. So uh, they are unsuccessful on third downs in general today. And so that will bring up a fourth down now. They're trying to convert with, and he just gets it off. My linebacker had an open side of the quarterback, and he just got off to the guy he should have been covering. But I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Well, not really, I guess. I mean, it was fourth down. Should have got him off the field. But it is still an uphill climb for the Saints to try and get back into this game. A huge touchdown from Kaepernick to Nick. Really helped us out. Just runs out of bounds to stop the clock. Good job. The Saints there. Thing is that a lot of those throws are hard to get like interceptions with the ones that they're making right now. Caught there, short gain. About four or five yards. Bring up a uh, Saints first down at the 47-yard line of the Bears. And with that, it will bring a close. Or, sorry, it will bring up the two-minute warning. Not a close to the game, but... Two-minute warning. Bears on top, 21-9. to nine. Looking to try to pick up our third win in a row. Move to four and one. And Edwards leaping catch actually does make it. Second and one. Hurry up offense here for the Saints. They need to start getting some yardage going. Throws it out to Miller who is wide open. And then plows through a defender or two. Gets knocked out of bounds. Does not go out on his own so the clock still continues to run. It was a poor decision by him. He probably should have just gone out on his own. Green Ellis catches it and gets the first down. Fighting with the defender for the ball as they continue the hurry-up offense here. Oh, and he catches it for the touchdown. Touchdown Saints. Is, that hurry-up offense really killed me right there. 21 to 15. They are going for the extra point itself this time. And it will be good. There's no doubt they have to go for an onside kick here now. Wow, Eli Manning, 90% completion today. I mean, I have to think that they're going for an onside, right? Yeah, okay. I picked right. I don't want to be a part of this, though, because I don't trust myself. Nix grabs it. And he will be a downed. So the Bears recover the onside kick attempt by the Saints. Uh, Saints have all their timeouts now, so we do actually still have to keep trying to gain points, gain first downs and everything here. Because the Saints can still stop the clock. Oh, 
Kind of looked a little clogged up. Tried to cut back only in game one. Timeout Saints. Uh, we'll try we'll try toss play, I guess. We, we got to keep running it to try and to get the clock rolling so that they have to use their timeouts. But, I mean, we, we really need to close this thing out right now. We gain nothing there. Nothing. Oh, brings up a very tough third down situation now for us. I really don't know what I want to do in this situation. Uh, so third and nine, we are one for two on third downs. Haven't faced them very much. We'll go with a curl route here, see if we can do something with that. I'm not too confident. Let's go. Marshall, Marshall! Brandon Marshall! My go-to guy comes through big for us there. First down, Bears. Saints used their final timeout, and I don't, I don't think it really matters. Nope. Can QB kneel it if I wanted to. You know, I'm, I'm actually not feeling that right now. I feel like, I feel like running it, just so we can keep the practice going. You know, do, do probably just one run and then do a QB kneel or something. Don't need to risk injuring our players. So a four yard gain and we won't run the clock out here and we'll just do a QB kneel. So huge third and nine play there. Brandon Marshall got free of the defender and was able to get the first down for us, which allows us to keep the win. Saints put up a little bit of a fight there at the end. Second half, they came out of came out of halftime with guns blazing. Had the run going. Even got passes going. Eli Manning was 90.9% .9 completion rate for the game. So, I mean, that's, that's how good they were. Okay, go, go, go. go. <sighs> Almost didn't get off in time. But yeah, that's that's how good they were passing, especially down the stretch there. That last drive, that that last drive was amazing. I gotta say that last drive, when they got that touchdown, was yeah. So it's a good thing we got the onside kick. A good thing we got that huge third down and kept it away from them, because I don't know if our defense would have stopped them. They had a huge ton of momentum, but the offense was able to. Provide one last miracle there. And the Bears come away with the victory. 21 to 16. A player of the game with seven tackles and two sacks. AJ Jefferson. He's the player in the game here for the Bears. As we continue our winning streak on a roll. Look at that. That is, that is the play of the game. That huge touchdown pass from Kaepernick to Knicks. We are on a roll so far, ladies and gentlemen. We are 3-0 and in the last three games that we have played. Lowered the turnovers and up the winning. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and leave a like, as well as any comments you may have down below. Otherwise, I'm KJ. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.